Hello. We good morning. This is Jim. Jim Emmett from Tierra Verde Yachts. Beautiful day out here. It is March 25th at about 3:30, maybe quarter to four. I'm on the 2006 Sea Ray SLX. Just picked it up from the shop, and I'm just gonna do a little walk through. But you know, let me start with the engine. We got the uh, 496 uh, right here, Bravo 3. It starts, runs great. We got a battery charger there, dual batteries, tram pump, bilge is all nice and clean. It's got new manifolds uh, that, that it just got, and uh, a lot of drive work was all done, and, and steering's all good and tight. And it's, it is a Bravo 3, so uh, it is a closed cooling system, so that's the cooling. Uh, that you see right there in the heat exchanger and uh, the whole boat really you know it's 2006 so it's got some age on it but it's it's in really nice shape it starts runs great on its own uh it's got fresh gear loop we did uh, uh, uh you know you didn't change the oil and spark plugs but that, that, all that stuff was fine it looked really good water pressure is at seven pounds you didn't replace the water pressure compression was done Compression's up to snuff. I I have run it, so I'm running it since compression check, but it's up to snuff. Uh, the lift hatch all works really good, and I'm just going to pause for a second. I'm going to lower the engine down because I want this video to be a little more action-packed, so hang in there. Okay, I'm back with you. We're on the 2006 Sea Ray 270 SLX, and um, it does have a remote flush kit here. And there's a, a shower, which I believe it leaks a little bit, so the water pump uh, runs, but there's a 270. And it's got the uh, sun deck cushions here, and it does, there is a little tear in the upholstery right here. I got my finger. Uh, it's a little dirty, but, you know, it would clean up a little bit. It's, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's a small tear. You can fix that with a vinyl repair kit. And uh, the rest of the upholstery looks pretty good. There's no really, you know, uh, no really significant... Uh, uh, rips or anything like that I see other than the one I pointed out you know so all this upholstery is you know nice I don't see anything crazy going on it does um, uh, the dash uh, which I'll, I'll, I'll go through the, uh, all the dash when we're running it I got the top off and uh, let's open this up and then here is uh, the head so it's got a nice head there opens up very nice stereo And then we're gonna uh, take a peek a little bit farther forward and all that upholstery looks good I got to cover it up it's a Friday and I gotta I gotta get to the school by 4 by uh, 4 30 so uh, so but the boat shows uh, very nice you know listen it's it's um, 10 14 15 16 years old um, you know so let's give it let's give it a run and uh, some sort of refrigerator there I didn't test any of the systems but I know it does have a new battery charger so, all right, let's put it in gear. The drive was all completely serviced outside the boat, and it does have DTS shifting, so uh, um, a digital uh, throttle and shift. Uh, steering is cable. It's cable power, you know, cable and um, um, cable with uh, power steering. Uh, all, all the systems check okay. Uh, GPS uh, shows as required. Temperatures a little below 175. Oil pressure is good. Trims down, and uh, we got about a half a tank of fuel. So here's all the dashes and buttons and switches. A couple. This switch was replaced, and uh, we got some switches. This one here has been replaced. Oh my gosh, the horn works. Okay, we're gonna throttle up. And we're gonna throttle up, and I see a big boat. Here's a big, here's a big in there. This is 3,000 RPMs. Nice. I'm just cruising at 24 knots. I want to get over that big wake from that motor yacht. And we're looking back there. Just purring right along. Don't worry, I'm going to go faster. 24 knots, 3,000 RPMs, very nice. All right, I, 
trimmed up a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. I'm going to trim down. I think I, I went up a little too high. There we go. All right, let's do a full power run. Okay, temperature is still good. We're at cruise at 3,200 RPMs or so. No alarms, no dash. By the way, we got 290. All, everything's in normal parameters, so there's no sense leaving here. 60 pounds of pressure, seven pounds of water pressure, and uh, 294 hours on the engine right now. 294, awesome. Okay, let's go full power. Oh yeah. yeah. There's 4,000. Nice. Temperature holding. We're doing 41 knots. 43. I'm not trimming. 44. 45 knots. There we are. No alarms. Temperature's all good. Alright, I'm bringing it back. Light beat on it. You know, the thing with these boats, with a 496, you got a very sophisticated engine, you know, and, and there's something out of parameter, you're going to see it screaming right here. We still have 294 now, uh, hours on it. So, we're all good. The temperature is still good. I'm, I'm still going a little on the hard side. I'm doing 3,800 RPMs. You know, doing 36 knots. So that's like 40, you know, that's like you know, 43 miles an hour. The, the speedometer reads a little lower. There we are, cruise it, cruise it. So, my name is Jim Emmett. I'm from Tierra Verde Yachts. I make all these videos as a courtesy. I don't guarantee the video, I don't, I don't warranty anything. Yeah, it's running great today, the 15 year old boat. You know, tomorrow, I think it'll run fine tomorrow, but you know, there's just no guarantees. But I run it through its paces. I want you to buy a good boat that you understand and know what's good and bad about it. That's that's always the goal in my uh, career. So uh, I make the video and I'm going to bring it on, on over to uh, a boat lift that's going to be kept here locally in Pinellas Point. And um, that's about it. So. Uh, the boat's for sale. We're going to probably be about $45,000. No trailer. And uh, we'll see what we get from there. So the, the owners must sell it. They have to sell it. They're, 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 they're done with it. They sold their house where the boat's at. So uh, we got to find a new home for it. Perfect boat to run it up north. Uh, run the lakes. You know, and it runs the seas. Fantastic. I'm in, I'm in Tampa. I do have a little bit of navigating here to do in a second. Uh, it does have brand new manifolds. This drive is all completely serviced. So, you know, there's a $9,000 bill on this boat, bringing it all up to spe uh, speed and just getting it ready for the, the, the next person. So, again, Jim Evans, Tierra Yacht. Thank you very much. And we are still cruising. You know, when you do something you love, it's not work. <laughs> That's a fact. You know, you do something you like to do, it just doesn't feel like work. So, thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.